Welcome back. Here I am with a new chapter. Chapter number four. From the diary of Anne Frank and this piece of writing, this extract has been authored by the person mentioned in the title, that is Anne Frank. Okay, so before we go into the detail, before we start the explanation part, let me give you an idea of the author, that is Anne Frank, and the circumstances, circumstances that played a major role and that popularized this diary and that made this diary all the very important so let's begin uh, first of all uh, Anne Frank her full name was Annelise Mary Frank she was born on 12th June 1929 and she died between February March 1945 there's no confirmation when she died because uh, she was taken to the concentration camp and uh, she breathed her last there only she died there so uh, we cannot uh, say for sure when she died exactly so it's between uh, February and March 1945 she took birth in Germany, but was of Jewish origin. That is, she was Jewish, a Jew. During Second World War, the family moved out of Germany and took shelter in Amsterdam, in Netherlands. That is, they settled there in Netherlands uh, because. Germany was in Nazi, uh, that is, Germany was under Nazi, uh, say, rule. And since execution or, say, persecution of the Jews had started there, so they had to move out of Germany, out of their country, and uh, they moved out. Uh, from the place and settled there in Amsterdam in Netherlands. Here uh, they went into hiding in her father's office building in July 1942 with her family and four friends. The family successfully maintained a secretive life for two years but were caught and sent to concentration camp as they were betrayed by the friends in the concentration camp first died Margot and uh, that is uh, her sister elder sister and within days of sister's death, any two succumbed to uh, the torture, the oppression, and she died of typhus. Father was lucky, on the other hand, and he survived. When he returned back to his house, that is after the war was over, and uh, uh, they were freed from there so father returned home alone because all the family members had died and here he discovered this diary left behind by his daughter left behind by Anne Frank he was convinced that this diary had unique record of the time and decided to publish it in English under the name the diary of a young girl 
This diary was actually a gift to her on her 13th birthday. It was given to her on her birthday as a birthday gift. And uh, she started maintaining it and it had uh, recorded. Or she had recorded here the chronological events of her life starting from 12th June 1942 until the final days. That is, until its final entry of 1st August 1944, when she was, or the family, or the group was caught and sent to concentration camp. The language of the diary was Dutch. That is, it was originally written in Dutch language. So, it had to be translated. So, first it was translated into English and after that it was translated into several other languages for the worldwide reach. There has been several films, serials, operas based on this diary too. The diary provides an intimate examination of daily life under Nazi concentration or Nazi occupation. So this is all for now. Thank you.